Good morning, and welcome to another Simple Truth. You know, uh, last week I talked to you about this idea of your experience of, at a playground. What is it that you did with that playground? You know, the truth of the matter is that every playground has a designer or, or designers. It has a, a creator, someone who puts the, the right objects in the right place. Somebody who's thought through a particular piece of property, decided what they were going to do with it. You know, recently my family and I went to Lancaster, PA, and we were uh, taking a little walk in a park. And that park uh, was amazing to me because it had multiple different things. It, it had the pavilions that people could sit in and, and use for picnics and things. It had picnic tables put all around at different places. It had a playground area. It, it had a frisbee golf course. Um, but it also had walkways and pathways that seemed to go here and there. And it had a physical fitness uh, course that you could walk and stop every once in a while and, and challenge yourself to push-ups and pull-ups and balance and all kinds of different things. Somebody had thought through how to use this piece of property in multiple ways. It wasn't just set aside as a frisbee golf course or as a fitness exercise routine place. It was, it was set aside so that people could do in multiple things. But somebody thought that through. You know, uh, that's how it is in, in yours and my life, that, that somebody has thought through who you are. They have created you to be who you're to be. They've given you a certain set of gifts and a certain set of talents that make you uniquely you, even if those gifts and those talents are similar to someone else's. I know we see that played out in, in athletics and, and in other things. We see multiple people playing football, baseball, soccer, golf, whatever it is. But there certainly are differences in what those people can do. Some stand out way more than others. All phenomenal athletes, all can do the sport that they were created to do, but they all come about it at different ways, uniquely, and we put them together most of the time and they make up a team and it's the, the team that has the best use of these gifts and talents. It's the coaches that can put the best players on and they know what each one can do and how they can do it that sets up them to win and that's, that's how it is in yours and my life. Simplicity, when we, we think about life, is the fact that we have a creator who has gifted you has given you talents, and he puts you in the right place at the right time to accomplish the right things. Otherwise, you and I are walking around haphazardly. Everything is just by chance. And you and I have experienced enough of life that we know that, that that's not the way that it works. The things aren't just haphazard in nature. That, that something happens and then we see it over here, how, it, how this changed this and then this changed this and, and our days seem to come together and at the end of it we can see a path through it. It's not that we have a creator that, that just moves us himself and we're just pawns. No, he, he creates us with the opportunity to participate in the game of life, to, to be a part of it, to make choices. But if we're in tune with our creator, well, we make the right choices. And even if we make the wrong choices, he seemingly can reset the board and allow us to keep going on. That's an amazing creator. Wrong choices don't mean we're out of the game. Wrong choices mean that there's a reset and that God uh, then moves on with his plan for us. We're never too far gone that he can't use us in his plan. But that's not really what I want to talk about this morning. What I want to talk about is the fact that, you know, occasionally I run into people that are so in love with the gifts that the Creator has given that they're worshiping them instead of the Creator. They're worshiping what they've been given the opportunity to do or, or be and not looking to the Creator who's allowing us to, to do and be. You see, we can fall in love with the gifts that God gives us, the, the spiritual gifts 
and the, the earthly talents and the things that he's enabled us to do. And if we're not careful, they become more important than the creator. You see, service becomes more important than the God who created us with the desire to serve. Leading, administration, that becomes more important. Being the boss becomes more important than the person who gave us the ability to be the boss. Certain gifting, singing, and prayer, and things like that can actually become what we worship. We're, we're so busy doing that, that we don't look to who gave us the ability to be. So I could go on and on with examples, but I'm pretty sure that you get this by now. The fact that we need to check our life and, and look at and be thankful for and be grateful for what it is that God has created us to do. What are the gifts that he has given you? But we need to consistently be checking ourselves, making sure that you and I are not worshiping the gifts that we've been given, that those do not become higher than the one who gave us. Now, for most of us, you said, well, that would, that would never happen. But I bet if you look at your life, you would experience, you'd be able to say that, that you've seen that happen. Where all of a sudden, the, the methodology of worship becomes more important than who we're worshiping. You see, it shouldn't matter what you're singing if you're in love with who you're singing it to. It doesn't matter the style. What matters is who you're singing it to. Love songs are love songs, whether they're hard rock, whether they're pop rock, whether they're Christian rock, whether they're whatever it is. They're, they're love songs. What matters is who you're singing it to. So make sure today that, that the one that you are praying to, that you're serving, that you're singing to, that they're the focus point. That God, your creator, he's the focus point of your life. That everything that he's given you just allows you to focus on him better, allows you to serve him better, allows you to worship him better, pray better. But that those don't become more important than that. Too many of us are worshiping the gift, not the gift giver.